Well, Ali, thank you. And yeah, a lot I have to watch, but also a lot I have to listen to. Kelly Clarkson is returning to the stage, but this time she'll be heading to Vegas. The residency follows the announcement of her new album, and our music reporter Alexa Lamalfa is here to tell us what to expect from the 10-night only show. <laughs> All right, Alexa, thanks for joining me. Of I have course. a million questions, <laughs> but to start, why not go, why do a residency instead of a tour? What's um, Kelly's motives here? Okay, so the residency, first of all, is called the Chemistry, Chemistry Residency after her 10th album okay. that's dropping later this year. You know, it's been in the works for three years and she's finally dropping it, so it's so exciting. But she was actually supposed to do a resi residency back in 2020 with her album Invincible, but due to the pandemic, it was halted. Now, she decided to do a residency this time around because she has a lot of work to do. You know, she's on The Voice, she has her own talk show, yeah. and she just wanted to spend more time with her kids. Yeah, now Kelly Clarkson isn't the only one announcing residencies. A bunch of artists are. What makes hers different than the rest? Yeah, so like we said before, it's a 10 night only show and she confirmed that herself. She's not adding no more, no less. And it's actually called an intimate night. So adding new elements to the show, you know, no show is the same. Now, yeah. Clarkson also wanted to add rock elements like a rock band, but you won't see any fire or dancers or anything really extreme like the typical Vegas norm. Like she's gonna keep it really simple. And when it comes to residencies, how are they going to impact an artist's career? Is it only just to stay relevant? You know, so I used to think that residencies were exactly to can maintain the relevance, mm -hmm. but I think now that it can really bring in on artists' creative freedom because, you know, they're there for a long time. They can play with set design, costumes, just really go above and beyond and also helps them maintain their personal lives. But, you know, back in the day when they announced the residency artists, I really thought they were just holding on to their relevance. But now after Celine Dion back in 2003, so a while ago, she kind of brought the residencies back and she actually has the highest grossing, like, title for residencies oh, in wow. Vegas. So artists kind of followed that and now it's seen more of a, su a success rather than failure. Amazing. Well, Alexa Lamalfa, per the usual, <laughs> thank you. And coming up after the break, Barbie and Ken are coming to life this summer. Stay tuned to see how Sammy and I are celebrating the live action remake of our favorite childhood toys.